Well, hey, everybody, I've got four things I want to mention happening this coming Sunday, October the 1st. That's right, October the 1st. It's October as of this weekend, if you can believe it. Time is just flying by. But four things real quick. Number one, we are gathering as usual, 1030 a.m. at the school to worship Jesus together. And I so hope that you're able to be a part of it. We're going to be continuing on in our series, Life Together, a series all about the church and what it is to share in the life of Christ together as a community of faith. And this coming Sunday, we're going to be talking about the mission and purpose of the church. And in particular, we're serving the poor and the needy and the marginalized within our neighborhood and community fits in to the mission of the church. You're not going to want to miss that important conversation for us, especially in light of where we're at related to our anchor cause. Right. Speaking of our anchor cause, this Sunday, we're also going to be bringing an important update regarding some next steps that we sense God inviting us to take. So you're not going to miss our worship service this coming Sunday. Lots going on. Of course, we're going to be worshiping Jesus through song as well. And we just can't wait to be together as a family and so hope that you can be there. That was the first thing. Second thing is that right after our worship gathering, we are going to be hosting a potluck lunch. So plan to stick around this Sunday after church, bring a dish to share, meet someone new, get to know some people better, and just spend some extra time with your church family over lunch after the service this coming Sunday. That's the second thing. The third thing is right after the potluck lunch at around one o'clock or so, we're gonna be hosting a town hall meeting. And we're gonna bring you a brief financial update uh, in, in regards to how we're doing financially as we head into the final quarter of the year. Just wanna kind of keep you up to date on that. But more importantly than that, we're actually gonna be spending the bulk of the time talking more about our anchor costs and doing a deeper dive into some of those next steps and sharing more information with you about where we sense God is leading us. And of course, having lots of opportunity for Q and A, and we're gonna spend some much needed time in prayer together around all these kinds of things as well. So you're not gonna miss that. The town hall meeting right after the potluck. Those are three things. I said there's four things. The fourth and final thing I want to let you know about is this coming Sunday, we are starting our Thanksgiving food drive in support of the Care Center Ottawa, which operates out of Bethel Church, an amazing ministry, partner ministry of ours that's aligned with our anchor cause. And just want to encourage you to be super generous with the Care Center Ottawa, with this food drive. If you want to know about some of the most needed items right now, you can go to thegatheringottawa.com slash food drive and you'll see a list there of things that the, the care center has said they most need. I want to challenge you to love our neighbors well in this season, to be generous with this food drive and to overwhelm uh, the care center with our generosity in the spirit of Christ. So that's happening starting this coming Sunday. You can bring those items to church on Sunday. Uh, or if you forget this coming Sunday, we're going to be collecting those items as well on the 8th and the 15th. Again, let's just give it our best and go for it this Thanksgiving season, expressing our thanksgiving to God by giving to others. So that's the fourth and final thing, the Thanksgiving food drive, right? Gathering together for worship, potluck, town hall, food drive, lots going on this Sunday, October the 1st. Can't wait to see you there.